And she, and we don't get no religious debate, but we just talk about religion. And she loves talking about it. Like, I like talking about Hollywood. So anyway, she said, uh, I said something. She kept saying, God is he, 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 he. So I said to her, like, uh, what if God's a woman? And she looked at me like, like, that's a ridiculous thing to say. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you associate God being just a male? Because, why does it have the sex? Why does it have human characteristics? Is this things do you even question or you just naturally assume to the male dominates the religion? So anyway, that, that's one thing that's on my mind. Uh, give me one second. I wrote my thoughts down, but I did the spur of the moment. Uh, here we go, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then um, she asked me one time, oh, another page asked me, she, uh, we talk about religion. Now, I don't want to start conversation from religion, but it comes up. And she goes, um, well, after she, she talked to me, and I, you know all the people I'm talking about, she goes, um, well, what do you believe? And like, I'm supposed to be Christian or any other faith because, you know, that's the only way other than that, you're evil. I'm like, no, I believe in compassion and I believe in evidence. And as you know, she asked me again, and I'm like, oh my God, what do I guys, how do I explain this? I mean, just because I don't believe what you believe, that don't make me wrong. But anyway, and I've been through this, it started early with my family because if, anyway, so there's another thing that makes me, I'm looking at this paper I just wrote while I used in this at Walmart. Um, and I said, uh, I mentioned to the person who was a witness, she was talking about the Bible a lot. And I said, this is a quote, it's a show on TV called Ancient Aliens. Uh, your brother, actually, he actually got me started into it. And I know you guys are very religious, but it just, you could be open minded. And um, you're about the most, <coughs> excuse me, open minded people I know that are religious. So that's why I'm glad you filmed me. <coughs> excuse me, I got tickled. So Ancient Aliens had an episode one time, I was watching it. Um, and I mentioned to her, like, just talking about Moses. And he was talking to God on top of the mountain. And, and, and the way they described it was, it was a loud noise, it was smoke, it was uh, thunder, it was something, and all this other stuff. And then the, the way the show went was like, if God's like everywhere and all knowing, all powerful, why do you need all this drama stuff? You know what I mean? And she just said, well, you know, I don't know. I don't believe in UFOs. God would have told us about UFOs in the Bible. I'm like, the Bible is not the only book that was written. You know, in fact, it was written over 400 years with multiple authors. Uh, the things that I always, I actually raised this question to my family because I went to boarding school. I was studying to become a minister. And they basically said, um, uh, this is the only way you, you, to understand things. And I said, well, but there's more information. And I was saying, like, well, Jesus had 12 disciples. Right? I remember saying this to my dad. And he's, he always taught that religious stuff. And he beat the crap out of me half my life. And uh, I was like, yo, dude, you taught this religious stuff. But I asked him, like, if Jesus had 12 disciples, how come only four had something to say? And why now none of them had last names? And it's like, I've said stuff like that all the time. And how come half his life is missing in the Bible? And they're like, Stu, well, we just pray for you. You just don't like, no, no, don't talk to me condescendingly. Answer my question. Because I'm growing up, and you're saying the same stuff you said when I was a little kid. Now, I have a right to understand things better. I'm not trying to challenge religion. I'm not challenging no belief in people who believe in God. I just want to understand for myself. And me in the temple, how can you not question things and not, as this sounds retarded, because if you're truly enlightened, you will question. Those who are close minded are not enlightened. And that's what I look at like. But I'm going to keep moving on. Rambling, rambling, rambling. Ah, I just remember having a conversation with you about Noah. And I was trying to be offensive. But I was saying, like, because I know in, in the Quran you're talking about um, different figures. I'm going to get into that. But I was saying, like, Noah, it makes no sense to me. But it's like, you got this guy that's supposed to be 600 years old, he got eight helpers, he had a drinking problem, and he got two animals of every kind put on one boat for 40 days, and did you go all around the world? And then like Joe Rogan said, what did you do? Did you keep them in cages? Could they eat each other? What did you do with the feces? What did you, uh, what did you feed them? And then after 40 days, a bird comes with a, a white bird, of course, a, a dove, and then uh, he brings an olive branch or something, and then how did something grow with an apocalyptic flood? So it's this question.